Good morning, boys and girls. I hope that you are doing well today, and I hope you're having a great week. I know you're probably working so hard on your schoolwork, and your parents and teachers and everyone in your life is so proud of you during this time. You guys are doing awesome. And I hope that you have been joining me every time we do a video because we have been going through the seven I am statements of Jesus. And these statements that are in John, the Gospel of John, tell us who Jesus is, don't they? They point to another aspect, another part of who he is. Um, and Jesus is saying, I am this and I am that. And so as a review, I want to go through the last few that we have done and see if you can name them because I bet some of y'all have them memorized by now. So the first one is, I am the bread of life. Number two, I am the light of the world. Number three, I am the gate for the sheep. Number four, I am the good shepherd. Number five, I am the resurrection and the life. And now we come to the sixth one, which is I am the way, the truth, and the life. So let's, let's look at these three words, okay, and what Jesus is saying. You know, it sounds a lot like some of the things he's already been saying, doesn't it? You know, we've talked a lot about life and resurrection and Jesus lighting our path, and those have all been part of our videos lately. And so I want to believe that Jesus really wants us to know these things about him, right? That, that it is so important that we keep talking about it so that we get it in our head and we know it in our heart, who he is and what he wants to do for you and me. So three words, I am the way, the truth, and the life, right? So the three words, let's do motions with those words to help us remember, okay? So way, we could do way like this, okay? Truth, we could just do um, a T, right? Truth. And then um, life, we could just do this, okay? So he is our way, truth, and life, okay? Way, truth, and life. So I, I need a little bit of practice on those. But so when we talk about the way, when Jesus is saying he is the way, He's not a way or, you know, one of many different kinds of ways. He's saying he is the way to the Father. And so just like we have talked about with the flashlight, remember that Jesus lights the way, but not only does he give us a way to go, but he is the way. He is the only way to heaven through Jesus to get to heaven. So the second one is truth. He is the truth. He cannot lie. He cannot sin because he's perfect, right? So he is truth. Um, what is this color when you look at this? It's red, right? And that's true. It will never be blue. This will always be red. What happens when it rains outside? have my yellow umbrella right so we we will get wet right so we get under our umbrella if we're lucky and we have one right so it is true that when it rains and we're outside we will get wet right that's true those things are true what else is true two plus two is always four right Simple math, but we all know two plus two isn't three, or two plus two isn't five. Two plus two is always four, and that is true. Those are some true statements. And Jesus is saying he is absolutely true 100% of the time. When, when things in our world are, are always up and down and you never know what you, you can believe in, really, right kids? in today's world but you can always believe in Jesus because he is always true he is the truth he is the way and then finally he is the life remember we talked about he is the resurrection and the life and he is the only one who gives us life not only the life that we have here on this earth but eternal life 
he is the creator of life and he's also the taker of life. He, we will die one day in our body, but we will be forever with God if we know him. So Jesus is the way, he's the truth, and he is the life. I hope that you remember that today, boys and girls, that he is the only way to heaven. And I hope you know him today. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and Lord, I want to invite you to know him today. I want you to reach out to me, your Sunday school teacher, your parents, someone who loves you and cares for you, who can point you to Jesus. And if you want to talk further, um, we I know we all want to welcome you to do that. So we love you. We are so thankful for you. And I am praying for you that you will have a great day today and a great rest of your week. And we will see you next time for our seventh I Am Statement. Have a great day, kids. Bye-bye.